Right, in this tutorial, we're going to go through how to do integration using the T formulae. Now, the T formulae is a strategy when you have integrals involving lots of trig functions and you cannot find a good substitution or trig identity to eliminate these trig functions and finish the integration. So, for example, an integration that looks like this. So here we have 1 over 1 plus sine x plus cos x. Well, here's not much we can do in terms of uh, generating some form of double angle formula or anything like that. So we have to resort to this thing called t formula. Now the definition of t is tan x over 2. Basically, think of this as the half angle. So t stands for tan of half the original angle of our trig functions. Now from memory, we knew that tan x using the double angle formula gives us 2t over 1 minus t squared, keeping in mind that t is actually tan of half your angle. In order to find what sine x and cos x is in terms of t, we can draw a quick triangle where we have the opposite over the adjacent and this is x. As we can see if we use Pythagoras we end up getting 1 plus t squared as our hypotenuse. Now that we have our hypotenuse we can readily say that sine x gives us 2t over 1 plus t squared and cos x is 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Finally, we also need to know how to change dx into something in terms of t. In order to do that, we do the derivative of inverse tan. So we should probably do that first. We make x the subject. So here we have 2 times inverse tan of t, which gives us x which means that dx equals to 2 over 1 plus t squared dt. It's actually worthwhile trying to memorize all of these formulas. If you can visualize the triangle, it helps you memorize the, um, the sine x and the cos x. The best way is to know your double angle formula for tan really well, so that you have 2t over 1 minus t squared. And because tan is essentially sine over cos, we know that sine will have the 2t over 1 plus t squared, our hypotenuse, and cos will be the 1 minus t squared. This is just a strategy for you to remember. Um, you can use your own way to remember this, whatever you prefer. And obviously dx, it's very important to remember, is changed into 2 over 1 plus t squared dt. Now going back, to our integral, we're going to have to try to convert all of these things into uh, in terms of t. So we're going to have 1 over 1 plus 2t over 1 plus t squared plus 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And this is all multiplied by 2 over 1 plus t squared dt. Now this denominator is actually multiplied onto the entire denominator of the left fraction, which is actually quite simple in this, in this situation. We end up getting 1 over 1 plus t squared. This denominator got cancelled out by 1 plus t squared, so we have plus 2t, and we also have plus 1 minus t squared. We have 2 upstairs, and we have dt here. Now we simplify this denominator to get 2 plus 2t dt, which is then integrated into simply ln 1 plus t plus c. Just make sure that you actually change the t's back into uh, in terms of x, 
So as what we define t to be tan of x over 2, we would say the final answer is ln 1 plus tan of x over 2 plus c.